Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for November the 11th, 2022. Today we will be using the dailyoffice.app. So go ahead and pull that up, click your preferences for today, Morning Prayer, and let's get started. Today we commemorate St. Martin of Tours. A reading from John. The hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for such the Father seeks to worship him. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen and Alleluia. Let us continue with the Jubilate. So press that little button there. You see the beige button if it's saying Benite, and it will click for you. Our antiphon this morning is, The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting, come let us adore him. Our first appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 56, together. Have mercy on me, O God, for my enemies are hounding me. All day long they assault and oppress me. They hound me all the day long. Truly there are many who fight against me, O Most High. Whenever I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not be afraid, for what can flesh do to me? All day long they damage my cause. Their only thought is to do me evil. They band together, they lie in wait, they spy upon my footsteps because they seek my life. Shall they escape despite their wickedness? O God, in your anger, cast down the peoples. You have noted my lamentation, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not recorded in your book? Whenever I call upon you, my enemies will be put to flight. This I know, for God is on my side. In God the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not be afraid, for what can mortals do to me? I am bound by the vow I make to you, O God. I will present to you thank offerings. For you have rescued my soul from death and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Psalm 57. <clears throat> be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for I have taken refuge in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge until this time of trouble has gone by. I will call upon the Most High God, the God who maintains my cause. He will send from heaven and save me. He will confound those who trample upon me. God will send forth his love and his faithfulness. I lie in the midst of lions that devour the people. Their te teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharp sword. They have laid a net for my feet, and I am bowed low. They have dug a pit before me, but have fallen into it themselves. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth. My heart is firmly fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Wake up, my spirit, awake, lute and harp. I myself will wake in the dawn. I will confess you among the peoples, O Lord. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is greater than the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth. Psalm 58. Do you indeed decree righteousness, you rulers? Do you judge the peoples with equity? No. You devise evil in your hearts, and your hands deal out violence in the land. The wicked are perverse from the womb. Liars go astray from their birth. They are as venomous as a serpent. They are like the deaf adder when it stops its ears, which does not heed the voice of the charmer, no matter how skillful his charming. O oh God, break their teeth in their mouths. Pull the fangs of the young lions, O Lord. Let them vanish like water that runs off. Let them wither like trodden grass. Let them be like the snail that melts away, like a stillborn child that never sees the sun. Before they bear fruit, let them be cut down like a briar, like thorns and thistles, let them be swept away. 
The righteous will be glad when they see the vengeance. They will bathe their feet in the blood of the wicked, and they will say, Surely there is a reward for the righteous. Surely there is a God who rules in the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Joel. Thus says the Lord, Afterward I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Even on the male and female slaves in those days, I will pour out my Spirit. I will show portents in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and columns of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. Then everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be those who escape, as the Lord has said, and among the survivors shall be those whom the Lord calls. For then, in those days and at that time, when I restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all the nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will enter into a judgment with them there on account of my people and my heritage Israel, because they have scattered them among the nations. They have divided my land and cast lots for my people and traded boys for prostitutes and sold girls for wine and drunk it down. What are you to me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the regions of Philistia? Are you paying me back for something? If you are paying me back, I will turn your deeds back upon your own heads swiftly and speedily. For you have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried my rich treasures into your temples. You have sold the people of Judah and Jerusalem to the Greeks, removing them far from their own border." But now I will rouse them to leave the places to which you have sold them, and I will turn your deeds back upon your own heads. I will sell your sons and daughters into the hand of the people of Judah, and they will sell them to the Sabaeans and to a nation far away. For the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this morning is the second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion and to our God for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that for which I have purposed, and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of James. Do not be deceived, my beloved. Every generous act of giving with every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. In fulfillment of his own purpose, he gave us birth by the word of truth, so that we would become a kind of first fruits of his creatures. You must understand this, my beloved. Let everyone be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger, for your anger does not produce God's righteousness. Therefore, rid yourselves of all sordidness and rank growth of wickedness, and with welcome, welcome the meekness, the implanted word that has the power to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not merely hearers who deceive themselves." For if any are hearers of the word and not doers, they are like those who look at themselves in the mirror. For they look at themselves and, on going away, immediately forget what they were like. But those who look into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and persevere, being not hearers who forget but doers who act, they will be blessed in their doing. If any think that they are religious and do not bridle their tongues but deceive their hearts, their religion is worthless." Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their distress, and to keep oneself unstained by the world. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dignuses, together. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. The Apostles' Creed, together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic, uh, Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your mercy and love, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Lord God of hosts, you clothed your servant Martin the soldier with the spirit of sacrifice and set him as a bishop in your church to be a defender of the Catholic faith. Give us grace to follow in his holy steps that at the last we may be found clothed with righteousness in the dwellings of peace through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Collect for Fridays. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went up not to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. A collect for Veterans Day. Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care in keeping all the men and women of our armed forces at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them and grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the mission of the church. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, that reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name, amen. Let us now bring our own needs and intentions before the Lord and ask for his mercy, his forgiveness, and his indulgence. Lord, hear our prayer. Prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Glory to God whose power, working in us, can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. That concludes morning prayer. We hope that you'll join us every day. Check in with us and check in with us on Sunday for our either uh, morning prayer, morning prayer with Holy Eucharist from the reserved sacrament, or Holy Eucharist right too, depending on if we have a visiting priest. God bless you. Remember, leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning.